Welcome to Packet Tracer 5.3.2.8 Examine the ARP table Objectives Part 1 Examine an ARP request Part 2 Examine a switch MAC address table Part 3 Examine the ARP process and remote communications Background. This activity is optimized for viewing PDUs. The devices are already configured. You will gather PDU information in simulation mode and answer a series of questions about the data that you collect. Part 1. Examine an ARP request. Step 1. Generate ARP request by pinging 172.16.31.3 from 172.16.31.2 so click 172.16.31.2 open the command prompt desktop command prompt enter arp-d command to clear the arp table okay now Enter simulation mode and enter the command ping 172.16.31.3 Two PDUs we generated. The ping command cannot complete the ICMP packet without knowing the MAC address of the destination. So the computer sends an ARP broadcast frame to find the MAC address of the destination. Click Capture Forward once. The ARP PDU moves switch 1 while the ICMP PDU disappears, waiting for the ARP reply. Open the PDU and record the destination MAC address. Is this address listed in the table above? No, it is not. It's not there. Click Capture Forward to move the PDU to the next device. How many copies of the PDU did Switch 1 make? One, two, what is the IP address of the device that accepted the PDU? Is this one right here? And that would be 172.16.31.3. Open the PDU and examine layer 2. What happened to the source and destination MAC address? The source and MAC destination MAC address timed out. Click Capture Forward until the PDU returns to 172.16.31.2. How many copies of the PDU did the switch make during the ARP reply? That'd be one. Step two, examine the ARP table. <clears throat> Note that the ICMP packet appears. Open the PDU and examine the MAC address. Do the MAC addresses of the source and destination align with the IP addresses? 
Yes, it does. Switch back to real time and ping the and the ping completes. Click 172.16.31.2. and enter arp-a command. To what IP address does the MAC address entry correspond? This is the MAC address, and this is the IP address. In general, when does an end device issue an ARP request? When it does not know the receiver's MAC address. Part 2. Examine a switch MAC address table. Step 1. Generate additional traffic to populate the switch MAC address table. From 172.16.31.2, enter the ping 172.16.31.4. Click 10.10.10.2 open the command prompt. <clears throat> Enter the ping 10.10.10.3. How many replies were sent and received? Four were sent and received. Step two, examine the MAC address table on the switches. Click switch one and then the CLI tab. Enter the show MAC address table command. Do the entries correspond to those in the table above? Yes. Click switch zero, then the CLI tab. Into the show MAC address table command. Do the entries correspond to those in the table shown above? Yes, they do. Why are two MAC addresses associated with one port? Because both devices connect to one port through the access point. Part 3. Examine the ARP process in remote communications. Step 1. Generate traffic to produce ARP traffic. Click 172.16.31.2 and open command prompt. <clears throat> Enter 
enter the ping 10.10.10.1 command. Type ARP-A. What is the IP address of the new ARP table entry? Uh, the new MAC address would be right here. This is the new one for this IP address. Enter ARP-D to clear the ARP table and switch to simulation mode. Repeat the ping to 10.10.10.1. How many PDUs appear? Click Capture Forward, click the PDU that is now switch 1. What is the target destination IP address of our request? The new destination would be right here, 172.16.31.1, which is right here. <clears throat> the destination IP address is not 10.10.10.1. Why? It times out. Step 2. Examine the ARP table on router 1. Switch to real-time mode. Click router 1 and CLI. Enter privilege exec mode and then show MAC address table. How many MAC addresses are in the table and why? There are zero MAC addresses in the table, and because it times out, there's no MAC addresses. Enter the show ARP command. Is there an entry for 172.16.31.2? Yes. What happens to the first ping in a situation where the router responds to the ARP request? It times out. And we are all done. Thank you again for watching the Pack of Tracers. And I'll be uploading some more later, so please hit subscribe so you'll be informed of when I upload these, I usually upload about two or three a week. Thank you again for watching Ultimate Tech Hub.